Hello everyone, my name is Mateus Lucena. This is a short presentation on misbehavior detection timeliness in vehicular ad hoc networks. Vehicles are becoming increasingly more aware of the environment they travel through. Environmental perception through sensors, machine learning, and computer vision allow software to assist in the driver's decision making, as well as promote more secure autonomous driving. As vehicles begin communicating, sharing their positions, making each other aware of objects outside of their field of vision, and broadcasting alerts of dangerous situations, the chances of accidents reduce. However, in a real-world scenario, the truthfulness and validation of these messages is still a concern. Machine and software failure can result in decision-making with erroneous data. Even worse, malicious actors may inject false messages to cause accidents. Detecting and stopping false messages from being used is the objective of misbehavior detection algorithms. However, arbitration of false and genuine messages may not fit into the split second required for decision-making processes. In this sense, our work aims at providing a timeliness metric for misbehavior algorithms. We describe these algorithms using signal temporal logic formulas. The formulas are then used by a property monitor to verify at runtime that the timeliness and correctness of verification are being respected. If data is not verified in time, it cannot be used in the decision making of the vehicle. We propose a cooperative misbehavior detection framework divided into three modules. A local module containing the detection algorithm modeled in STL, a cooperative module where neighboring vehicles decide as a group if a false message is truly false, and a cloud module that will handle vehicles that have been marked as malicious actors. Our solution was implemented on top of the F2MD simulation framework. The Vane simulator provides the networking capabilities to the virtual vehicles, while the Sumo simulator handles their mobility. We utilize the Luxembourg Sumo traffic scenario used by many works in the literature. The F2MD simulation framework allows us to track performance metrics of the simulated algorithms during its execution. Using the signal temporal logic modeling, we could determine that as traffic density increases, the processing delay of arbitration causes more messages to be discarded before being used. STL can then be used as a metric to exchange the misbehavior algorithm or even determine if specific parts of the data pipeline are broken and causing the loss of timeliness. This is all for now. I hope to bring you more interesting findings in the future regarding vehicular networks.